In this lesson, we're going to take a look at what isotopes are. So isotopes are just atoms that have the same number of protons, but they have a different number of neutrons in the nucleus. So remember that the number of protons determines the element. So we're talking about this same element, but with a different mass because we have a different number of protons. So for example, here I have six protons in both of these nuclei. If I take a look at my periodic table, six protons means that the element that I have is carbon. So both of these are the element carbon. So they're both carbon atoms, but they are isotopes of one another. So in the first one, the nucleus has six protons and six neutrons, which means the mass overall is 12. Whereas in the second nucleus, I have six protons and seven neutrons, which means that the mass is 13. So the way that we identify which type, uh, which isotope of carbon we have is with its mass. So the first atom I would call carbon 12. And the second one I would call carbon 13. So those are two different isotopes of carbon. There's another isotope of carbon that exists as well, which is carbon 14. So when I look at carbon 14, if I wanted to know how many neutrons that had, if I look at the nucleus, to be carbon, carbon has to have six protons. Otherwise, it's a different element. So there have to be six protons in the nucleus of carbon-14. And we know that 14 is its overall mass. So if I have 14 particles inside the nucleus, and six of those are protons, then I can figure out my number of neutrons by taking my total number, subtracting my protons. So I have eight neutrons in carbon-14. So those are three different isotopes for carbon. I can have carbon-12, carbon-13, or carbon-14. And for carbon-12 and carbon-14 and the ratio that is found in fossils relative to one another is actually what's used to date how old fossils happen to be. Another example is chlorine. Chlorine has two different isotopes. There's chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. So if I look up in the periodic table, chlorine has 17 protons. So for chlorine 35, over here to get to a total of 35, I would need 18 neutrons. And for a total of 37, I would need 20 neutrons. So chlorine 35 has 17 protons and 18 neutrons, whereas chlorine 37 has 17 protons and 20 neutrons. The way that we can figure out which of the isotopes is most commonly found is from the atomic mass in the periodic table. So if I look at carbon, when I click on that, I'm told that the um, atomic mass is 12.011, which is closest to 12. So we will take a look at how we calculate or how these are calculated uh, and they're based on a weighted average. So the number that we end up closer to, there's going to be more of that isotope around. So carbon 12 is found in a higher abundance than carbon 13 or carbon 14. And for chlorine, which we just looked at, so chlorine is 35.45. Uh, and 35 and 37 are the two isotopes, 
So the 35.45 is closer to 35, which means that chlorine 35 is found more abundantly than chlorine 37. And in a later lesson on relative atomic masses, we will learn how to calculate the exact percentages that make up the different isotopes um, of each different element.